today I have a Lush haul to show you. Um, I really like shopping at Lush and I really hate shopping at Lush. I love shopping at Lush because um, their bath products are pretty much the only products I can use because um, they're mostly natural. They'll tell you they're all natural, but they, some of them do have parabens in them. And then they'll try to tell you that parabens are okay. And I mean, I'm not one that really cares too much about parabens, but I don't like being lied to. Anyway, that's another story. Um, so yeah, I like that their products are mostly natural. They don't um, get break me out in a rash or, or anything like that. And some of their products are really, really amazing. I hate going into the actual store though because their associates are so pushy sometimes. This time it went really well. I walked in and well I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing but the guy recognized me and he was like you know what you're looking for right? And, like in a friendly way and I was like mm-hmm and they left me alone. So it was a good experience this time. Anyway that was a long and irritating intro I'm sure. Sorry. I will start showing you what I got. Most of these things I have had before but the first thing that I got is something I have never tried and it is a bath melt. And this is the Dreamtime bath melt. It just looks like a little bar of soap and it's super creamy and it melts even if you just touch it. And I looked up online what all the smells are supposed to be. Um, even though they're pretty, like Lush's scents are pretty simple, it's easy to detect sort of the, the main notes in them. But anyway, I thought I'd tell you anyway. This has jasmine, chamomile, lavender, and sandalwood. And it's supposed to be um, something that you use in the bath to moisturize your skin. It just like is really creamy and um, the scents are supposed to be very calming. The next thing I got is actually a bath bomb and I actually got two of them because this is my favorite bath bomb from Lush. This is the Twilight bath bomb and it's pink with little stars on it and when you ooh, when you put it in your water um, it like explodes and I think everyone knows what a bath bomb does. Um, and the inside is actually blue and it smells really good and I just I just like the smell that's why it's my favorite one so that's why I got two of them and the scent of this is really mostly lavender the only other bath bomb that I got is this one here this is the honeybee bath bomb it's brown and yellow and I've had this before but not for a long time and um, I got it just because I wanted something different because I'm always getting Twilight. And this one is smells, this one is smells, this one smells like honey, toffee, and orange oil. And it's supposed to have aloe vera in it to like calm the skin. And then like the brown bits are like some sort of mud apparently that's also calming to the skin. So that's really good because I have really, really dry skin and it gets irritated and like. It, my skin kind of crawls a lot, if that makes sense. Like, it's not itchy, but it, my, it, it sort of feels like my skin is crawling um, when it gets dry. So I like to... I like anything that's supposed to calm skin. <laughs> the last bath product I got is this bubble bar. And it is the Christmas Eve bubble bar. And they had this... I got this last year, and it used to be, like, a totally blue circle. And the little moon was, like, stuck on top. But I'm so stoked that they changed it because that little moon was just annoying and it always fell off and it looked heinous. Um, and the girl in the Lush store actually said like they changed it because it kept falling off. What you do with bubble bars if you don't know is they're basically solid bubble bath. So you use, I can usually get three or four baths out of one bubble bar and you just crumble it on your bath water like bubble bath and it makes bubbles and it smells really good. And this one smells like um, jasmine and ylang ylang. The last thing I got on this trip to Lush is one of my absolute, for sure, holy grail products and I ha I just feel like I can't go without it in the winter and it's the Dream Cream and this is just the most moisturizing um, moisturizer <laughs> for the body that I've ever used and it's the only thing that actually feels like is can moisturize my skin in the winter because it just gets so so incredibly dry. I've tried countless mo moisturizers as most of us probably have and this one I used all last winter and it was just a completely different experience for my skin. It just works so so well and it's a little pot and it's really expensive it's thirty dollars but it does last me the whole winter like I think it lasted me from like November to March last year 
pretty well using it almost every time I showered and it's just like a regular white cream nothing special but it's just nice and thick and it's really soothing and comfortable and it's not sticky or anything like that it's just it's really comfortable to wear and according to the Lush website what is in this is oat milk lavender chamomile olive oil and cocoa and what you can really smell is like it smells like oatmeal basically like sort of a chamomile oatmeal um, and you can smell a little hint of the cocoa but not much um, for the most part after it sort of sinks in you can't really smell it too much that's it that's all I got from Lush on this trip thank you for watching this haul and I'll see you soon bye